Hi, do you hope everyone? My name is Fruit, and in today's video, I'm joined here with Dado as he walks me through Hi. how to make some nice in the game Titan PV, or er, well, PVE and PVP builds. Mm -hmm. If you've seen the vault cleaning, both the first and the second, a uh, crux of mine is hoarding armor because I don't know what to do with it, and I'm always like, well, maybe this will be nice later. Well, what if we just figure out what is worth keeping and what's not? Make some builds, get rid of the rest. That is exactly what we're trying to do. Character defining moment for me. You know, hopefully this happens. I don't relapse and I can carry this momentum moving forward. Yeah. Cope. The reason why I recommend this to people is because you'll find like a really high stat roll. Maybe it's like super well allocated, 65, 66, 68. And you just throw it in the bank because you don't really have a spot for it because you already made your builds. And then that just keeps piling up. And even some of the best, most well-optimized armor pieces still might not find a way into a build that you make just because the stats don't line up with the other stats on your other pieces of armor. My number one recommendation, build armor sets and then delete the rest of it. Because if you build an armor set and you fully mod it out and you fashion it out, your incentive to keep new armor drops drops dramatically because you already have your build and going through and recreating all of your builds over again, probably not gonna be worth your time for maybe the slightest difference in stats. Let's start with, let's start with uh, Ursa Furiosa. Oh, so okay. let's find your Ursa Furiosa. So here we have every single stat combination with every single piece of gear that you have it has in your 16,667 combinations. I'll start scrolling up. <laughs> but all of your stats are at zero, which means the game is literally like, you have 16,000 ways of just equipping any different armor pieces with this exotic. If you're gonna be using Ursa Furiosa, I'm guessing you're probably gonna be in master content, GM content, and right now resilience is very, very important uh, in we those like pieces resilience. of activities. Yeah. yeah, resilience right now is incredibly strong. I don't know if Bungie is ever going to nerf it. If they do, ah! Let's just make it so you need to have 80 resilience no matter what we end up with. So just click that 80. So now it's gonna reshuffle and says, okay, now we're only giving you builds that have at least 80 resilience. Now, I also really like recovery and keep in mind, you know, this is just kind of what I like. And you're like, I want hundred resilience, but I don't really value recovery. You could do your own, you, you know, your own values. That's the whole point of this. We're, this we're is just sort of an how to live your life. This is just sort of an example of how to go through the process, but the numbers you pick can, co can totally be your own. I think like 80, 80 is a good starting point. I like that. So now we have some boxes that are grayed out. So with this specific setup, the game can no longer reach, uh, you know, mobility. 60 mobility or, or 90 strength. And as you filter this down more and more, you know, you're going to be eventually set with small handful of, of options. And most of them are going to be pretty close to each other. The one thing I'm sure of is if I get high mobility, I go, oh, sweet trash. Uh, yeah. I, I've for, never for valued mobility anyway. on Titan. Yeah. I, I'd say like floating around 20, 30 for mobility is, is totally fine. Anything more than that, personally, I think is just kind of a waste. If you're on Ursa, that means you're on Void, which means you're, you're, you're probably going to want to be throwing suppression some grenades yeah some names uh, i think suppression grenades are, are very good uh they also can apply weakness if you're spec'd for it so let's start with uh 70 discipline oh feeling okay. saucy and now our stats drop even more so this is like a decent starting space um strength you know the the, the throwing disc is kind of okay i personally don't really value it that highly and plus titans have it does feel kind of butts it's, it's okay, but I don't think it's necessarily vital to the experience. Uh, Titans also have a pretty decent way in getting ability energy back. Intellect, I don't also think you're going to need that much of because Ursa is, is an exotic where you're going to get probably half of your super energy back every single time you use it, unless you just use it in a very, very bad spot. And, and then I'm pumping the, orbs for my friends, which means they're getting more shoes, which means more orbs for me. Exactly. Yes. And plus with the intellect changes that happened recently, where it's much more of a better idea to be using uh, weapon damage to restore your super as opposed to just passively regenerating it. I don't value intellect that highly. I think we go 30 or 40 
uh, and you'll probably be okay. So that's probably not going to affect uh, your, your stats Most too much because getting yeah. 30 intellect is not very difficult. We'll do uh, 50 strength. Okay. And uh, let's say 30 mobility. That narrows it down for sure. So recovery versus resilience. I personally like recovery. If you're going to go into resilience, I think you need at least 80. We could go 90. If you really want to go 100, that's totally fine too. Um, well, let's, uh, let's do, let's do 90. Okay. Oh, well, so right, well. <laughs> there is one build that can Fine. do this exact distribution. So let's scroll down a little bit. And this is also going to assume, I believe that your gear is going to be completely masterworked. Click on void because there are certain oh, uh, fragments true. that also can affect your stats and you can turn these on and off based on if you are going to be using mm -hmm. them. Uh, I personally don't value it that highly. Um, I would not, I'd, I'd rather just be able to use what I want without having to, you know, use very specific combat style mods and powerful friends and radiant light. And then all of these specific uh, fragments in order to get the stat bonuses. Um, but for me personally, I do enjoy using Echo of Obscurity to go invisible after a finisher in GMs. And I do also like using Echo of Undermining, which is gonna reduce our uh, discipline by 20, which is pretty tough. So if we scroll back up now, um, no. we can't even make this build anymore. Uh, but if you do want to account for the fact that you're going to be losing 20 discipline with this grenade uh, mod, true. we need to change things go. back up. So now the build's back, but we only have 60 discipline as opposed to the 80, but we do gain ah. that weakness. It, it's something that you kind of have to do on the fly. Like if someone else is running weakness, then like, do you really need to? Maybe not, but it, it's, it's, it's kind of a fluid thing, which is why I don't really mess with those too much. Let's say we're okay with this for now. We have a bunch of advanced settings here. I don't really feel like most people need to mess with this that much. And honestly, that's all we really need to do. This shows you all the different armor pieces that you're gonna be using uh, in order to complete your build. It shows you where all the mods are gonna be going and the cost of upgrading all of these things because I, I don't know if you have all these pieces already upgraded. I That's how much it's going to cost. So now what we could do is you can hit open loadout in dim and this okay. should automatically open up dim. So now wow. you can change the name of this. Ursa with that, oh smile. And it has populated uh, your armor pieces, except for your class item. The reason why they don't do that is because uh, you can do any, class right? items don't have any stats. So I do recommend popping in, you know, a class item. So let's click on the class item slot and just grab one of these, uh, Catch. you know, Love probably a masterworked one. one already. So now what we could do is we can customize your subclass. So let's go over to subclass here. So you're gonna pick your super ability, which is gonna be Sentinel Shield. Uh, right. Your Void Grenade, I personally go Suppressor. You can go, obviously go any grenade you want. We're probably gonna go with Towering Barricade. You can go with whatever Lift. Your Void Melee uh, is probably gonna be Shield Throw in a GM. And now we Full get safe. to pick our aspects and our fragments. This is probably in a GM going to be Offensive Bulwark and Bastion. And then we pick our fragments, which again are up to you. Um, I personally go Echo of Obscurity, Echo of Undermining, and I believe the thing that makes all of your stuff last long, Echo of Persistence, yes. So that's that's all the way on the right, and that's to make my, invis my invisibility and my overshields last longer. That's everything I use too. Whoa. Dude, really? <clears throat> yeah, Damn. That's, that's what I was gonna do. We should, we should be like best friends. Okay, shake on it. Nice. And this is where you can more specifically fine tune which mods are going where. It has two unassigned mods right now because you literally don't have the energy to put them in your gloves and your chest piece. So uh, that's true, something you're gonna have master. to go do yeah, in game. And then as you gain more energy, you'll be able to slot uh, specific mods in the places that you want to slot them. Most of the time, I kind of leave a lot of this open and I do it on a case by case basis. Combat style mods am I gonna use if I'm even using combat style mods? I've actually not really been running too many combat style mods uh, in GMs recently. I've just been going resistance mods, finders, scavengers, just keeping it very simple. Uh, I guess we could do like your class item, but uh, class items this season's probably not gonna be too exciting because it's um. all solar stuff. And then your helm, you could do finders, 
yeah, so you can do, uh, you know, whatever finders you would end up using. But this is also fluid. You know, if yeah. you use a different weapon, you're going to put in a different finder. And then uh, you have it named, and you can just hit save. Oh. Boom. I'm going to be is. poor after investing in all this, let me tell you. Again, this does assume that your gear is going to be masterworked. I'm sure there's an option on D2 Armor Picker to be like, account for the fact that my gear is not fully <laughs> masterworked. Uh, but if you do fully masterwork stuff, eventually you might have to go back because they could find something that is potentially better. It looks like you have a pretty decent uh, uh, lore lay build already equipped on you with a whole bunch of mods and stuff. Yeah. Why don't we go into D2 Armor Picker and see if and this is truly the best <laughs> okay. that you can do? I'm gonna. I'm probably just spoilers. Uh, the answer is probably no. It was just easy at the time, and I was like, ooh, I can hit 100 resilience with Laurely smile. To be fair, that's all you really need to do. In fact, let's just start with 100 resilience. Now, given what you're doing with Laurelays, you're you're probably doing a lot of bonking, and you're picking up your hammer manually, which means so you don't really, you need, don't really need that much strength. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why, don't, why don't you do this one? So I guided you uh, through the first one. Why don't you kind of, you know, hit me with a vibe check? What are you feeling? Like, what do you what do you think we should do here? Okay. Recovery seems a little redundant, right? Although uh, this season, no, I would it, agree. Does it stack with the regeneration speed? Yeah. Uh, I don't believe it does. I think uh, restoration is its own kind of thing. Well, I still just kind of like recovery. We'll just start sixty. Okay, I think that's fine. It didn't really eliminate. Yeah. Okay. Mobility. Pfft, forget about it. Intellect. Trying to decide. Do I want more intellect? Do I want more discipline? I, well, I could apparently get a hundred intellect, but well, would click on that. Let, let's see what you would be able to do otherwise. Okay, so not a whole lot. So yeah, that's yeah. Let's let's just go back to sixty. But if I recall correctly, Hammer of Soul does have one of the longest cooldowns, so to speak. A hundred intellect, tier ten, seven fifty nine. You go to 60, it's a minute 858. Just, it's one minute. That is basically nothing. Like, what if we click 50? Okay, so I could go higher on recovery, mobility and strength, not really a big determining factor. So the question is, is this enough substats outside of resilience? Or should I invest a little more, like double down more on recovery or intellect or discipline, or just kind of have them all kind of Goldilocks? Um, so for this season in particular, you know, given where I think you're probably going to be using this, uh, you probably don't need a ton of recovery. Like 50, 60 is probably fine. I personally would go higher discipline over intellect. Um, Cause like intellect's good, but with the amount of killing power you have, like you're going to reach your super in, in basically no time. So yeah, 60 discipline I think is, is pretty good. You know, if we can get the higher strength for free, like Might that's okay. Well. But I, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Well, let's just see. Okay. Survey says that's the build. And, and looks like that's what we're going with. For anyone in the comments who are like, um, actually you should have done, this is just an example, <laughs> just quick examples so yeah, that right. you can so don't hurt you know, me. learn. <laughs> it also doesn't use my master work glorily. Ah. 38 mobility, 102 resilience, 71, 63, 42, 43. Okay, so let's go back to Dim real quick and just see what your stats are right now, just to compare real quick. So you're actually like basically right there. We'll take it. I, I think exactly, your yeah. only weakness here is that you have one less strength. strength. I'm not gonna go out of my, like I'm not too sad about that. Technically speaking, we don't even really need to remake this set because you're like close enough and you already have your fashion you already have the subclass built in destiny item manager do we really need to go through this whole process just for one strength tier <laughs> i i don't think so so you did really good you did Ooh. very very good with that lorelei's build let's go yeah you know the melee but yeah whatever again too i barely don't even think about it because i just bonk i pick it up and literally like if one of these armor pieces happened to roll with you know one more strength it basically would have been the same Shadow approved orally pog. Yeah, so let's click on that discipline. Okay. So now here so now we're eking out a couple more stats. So now we can get one more tier of discipline and strength. But keep in mind we're also not accounting for fragments. So there might be a situation cool. where you end up going back down in stats because of a certain fragment. So if you hit solar. That is true. So let's uh I don't know, we could pick 
I mean, all these, for all intents and purposes, are the same. Pretty similar. Uh, in terms of stat distribution, it's just which armor you end up picking. Yeah, do any of these use my already masterwork? Oh, yeah. Your, your masterwork one is 46 base stats? Is it? 46 plus 10 plus 12. Hey, so you that... have one that has like way more stats on it. I guess just because this is like one of the first ones you got. Oh, and, and you never got a new one. Yeah, well, this is the worst trade deal in history. How did I miss that? Fudge. Oh. <laughs> I just saw the 68 real quick and I was like, oh, 68, that's pretty good. And I didn't yeah. read any of the other numbers. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's embarrassing. I just exposed myself. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So but hey, that build was still very, very good for just sort of whipping some stuff together. So don't don't beat yourself up too much. I'll get around to masterworking it. The good thing is this isn't like top priority because that still works. But if I want to eke out some here soon, then I need to invest in not my absolute dog water warly. Uh, you know what? This one looks good. We're going to name this one the warly you should have invested in. Also, hang on. Before you save, I'm going to hit you with the well actually. There's an E between the L and the Y in Laurelay. Oh, the Laurelay. Uh. Now, with the uh, with the second Laurelay build, you would go in, customize your subclass, you'd do all your fragments, you would do all of your mods. The mods are a bit easier to do because that build is more for, I think, like general combat. So it's not something that's probably going to be shifting too much. Um, so that's not where you can kind of lock down your mods. Okay, so the last one I want to do, you said, you mentioned before we started recording that you're not much of a stasis guy. No, it scares me. What we're going to do is I want to introduce you to the world of PvE stasis because oh. Titan PvE stasis IMO is like one of the most fun builds that I roll around with in just sort of general play. Um, you could go with Horfrost or you can go with uh, Heart of Inmost Light. Horfrost Ooh, is like literally just like you make more stasis crystals because the entire build revolves around making stasis crystals and then shooting them with your gun to make them explode and then getting more headshots with your gun to make more crystals to shoot them so that they explode. And this is just that literally more crystals, the build. I do like the sound of that. Yeah, Heart of Inmost Light, on the other hand, is a bit more intricate where you want to be like weaving your abilities. And so you need to, you need to like actually kind of think about the order that you do your abilities in and... Uh, you know, sort of, oh man, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. it, it requires a bit more thought into it. And well, I, I am kind of used to it. That's pretty much almost exclusively what I rocked during Void 3.0 last season. At the same time, I think it'd be cool to double down into a specific stasis exotic too, just because I've never used this one. You know, if I'm going to go for a fun stasis build, double down. Go yeah. into stasis. I would agree. And especially like when you're first learning the build as well. It's, uh, you know, you want to, so you can just hit clear, by the way. Oh, perfect. What I really like about the stasis build that I'm going to try to build for you, which by the way, you're going to need some sort of a weapon with headstone. Oh, okay. For this build, it's all about spamming our abilities as much as possible. And Bam. because they all make stasis crystals in some way, and we want to make as many stasis crystals as possible. But do we just want like 80, 80, 80? We could do something like 80, 80, 80. However, stasis doesn't really have many healing effects, so which is why I kind of like to go decently high recovery. And you're gonna find that like a lot of these builds that I that we're making right now, you know, they tend to drift the same way because a lot of these stats tend to end up being really good across a wide range of builds and subclasses. Hey. There's there's very few builds, for example, where you'd want to go like a hundred discipline, a hundred strength. Right. Something uh, like that. I'm never gonna say no to more resilience and recovery. I'm gonna let you take the lead on this one completely. Let's just hit hit the 70 recovery, 70 discipline, 70 resilience. Okay. Okay. All of our abilities kind of juiced. All right, so do you want more offensive power? Do you want a little more defensive power? Keep in mind, resilience also does boost the cooldown of your yeah, class ability, which is our case. entire exotic. I do like that. That is a good point. Maybe, what if I go crazy? Let's go crazy with it. Still got some rooms? Yeah. You know, I, maybe I favor, well, see, that's just so safe. You know, like, well, a little more recovery. I can't say no, but maybe maybe a little more. Eight seconds on the grenades, three seconds. But which ones would I be using? You're gonna be using, yeah, you're gonna be using Glacier Grenade. Okay. Uh, Whisper of Shards. Yep. Whisper of Conduction. It is. Oh, look at the double stats, oh yeah. Whisper of Bonds, but I feel like that one is potentially flexible. Let's just assume I'm rocking that. It makes it so I only need 80. 
Yeah, so you can click down to 80, but now it's changing which pieces of gear you actually need to reach that. And now we have, instead of just 80, 80, 80, now we have 90, um, 90, 90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to see if you can eke out any more. Yeah. Stat. I mean, it's not a bad idea, you know, like if you did 90 strength, could you get away with? Yeah, so no, no. you basically only get to pick one. It seems I like you get to pick 190 or two 80s. Then I think I would go maybe 80, 80. 80, 80. Okay. There yeah, again, we're gonna be pretty slow with the with the mobility, and we're gonna Bro. be pretty stupid with the intellect. But again, <laughs> this build is mainly uh, driven through glacier grenades. It's driven through your weapon, and we're gonna be getting a lot of super energy anyway. Especially because we have Whisper of Bonds defeating frozen targets gives you super energy, which hopefully you'll be doing a lot. Then yeah. We can hope. Um, okay. That looks and it's going to cost me. you that much to get it to maximum. All that's fine, except for the golf balls. Those always like, cost me a little bit, but... We can do a little bit of GM farming. I might. I need some golf balls. Here's the nice thing. With Destiny Item Manager, once you go in and you do all your fashion and stuff, you can save your fashion. So eventually, you'll get to a point where you can, with one button, hit, fun, um, hit your phone with stasis build. It will change all of your fragments, your aspects, your weapons, your armor, your shaders, your ornaments, your mods. I like the sound of that. And then with fun with stasis... Um, this is one that is heavily, maybe not heavily mod dependent, but like you can get some pretty good mods uh, that build. Uh, you have elemental time dilation, elemental shards, which count as, uh, which makes those stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells. And you're gonna be making a ton of stasis shards, which feeds into font of might. All right, or, so which or, ones yeah, are you saying? That as well. Font of might, uh, elemental shards, and then time dilation, elemental charge. I, I you can probably just round it out with high energy fire. And so now as you upgrade your gear, uh, it will eventually shove those mods into spots where they can actually fit. Just keeping in mind that these two stasis mods that we have need stasis, stasis. energy. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to have to respec one of them. So okay. there we go. So now we have a bunch of builds uh, that you can mess around with on your Titan. You have some stasis for messing around. You have Lorelei build for messing around. You have a Ursa for GM if you ever want to do Ursa stuff. Um, so now that we've picked all these different armor pieces, in fact, it looks like two of them are the same across two of the Yay. things. We have Ursa and Fun with Stasis. Click on those boots real quick. So, yeah, I mean, just looking at those builds, very, oh, uh, yeah. or uh, the, the stat distribution, like, it's very easy to see why it was selected in, in two different builds. Now what you can do is if you feel done with your builds, if you want to make more, you can go and make more based on whatever exotics you want to be doing. I think I will. But if you feel like you're done, what you can do is you can go in to your vault now and <sighs> delete armor. <sighs> oh, that's so permanent. Part of me is like a little, it's it's that back, like, well, maybe we wait until arc 3.0 because mm -hmm. then you never know. And then I'll be like, wait, I just deleted everything. So. So here's what I'll say. You don't have to delete everything. You already have some very, very good armor pieces that are gonna be saved on these builds that you already have right now. And I also don't think there's anything wrong with keeping two chest pieces, two boots, a couple of helms in your vault, just for that flexibility. You know, maybe you have a couple of high intellect pieces and you know, they buff intellect and now all of a sudden intellect's good and you have a couple pieces, that's fine. When you start to have like 20 of each, that is a bit much. I do in have 212 opinion. pieces of Titan armor, which is maybe a little yeah. excessive. Now, I'd, here's what I want you to do for homework. Rather, as a part of this video, I want a clip of you at the end deleting at least 30 pieces of armor. Ah. Now, you can make You're more holding builds. Holding me accountable. Ah. It should be more. I want to start you with 30. It just should be me overlaid crying in the shower <laughs> yeah, he made me the leader. and you know what extra credit if you make another armor set on your own I'll and even more extra credit if you go in and do all the fashion for him the fashion is the most important part fashion do be pretty important i'm not gonna lie you know i know what i'm looking for now i get to experiment myself and maybe folks at home can experiment even if you're not a titan hopefully you just took away as a general rule of thumb how it operates what to look for and this, if this you want about, specific builds for them well yeah good luck I, I don't, meet, yeah meet specific Titan. builds you can find all over youtube you know you yeah. could probably search any exotic and be like you know this exotic build 
Someone yeah. has a video on it. The, the whole point of this, getting yourself organized and making it so switching loadouts is not that much of a hassle. Just keep in mind, the more you customize in Destiny Item Manager, the fewer amount of places you're going to be able to switch things around. Oh, right. So you just need to be diligent about like, oh, I can't switch my armor while we're like on a destination. And if you have a whole bunch of fashion and mods that you need to switch around, just make sure you do it in orbit or you do it in the tower, something like that. Uh, before you go anywhere, because otherwise the game is uh, not going to allow you to do that and you're just going to be yeah. stuck with whatever you're wearing. Thanks, Statosan. You have empowered gotcha, the boy. next wave of armor cleaners. It's about freeing your mind. We get so many items. We get so much loot. Just free your mind of it. Just delete it right away. You already have your builds. You're not going to change anything. They're already perfect. Get rid of it. So first off, we're going to delete some armor. Reformed me. This is going to be harder than um, both you and I think, but we're going to, we're going to, we're at 441. I'm going to get that down to 410. Starting it off. Uh, recovery. Uh, uh, this is going to be tough. What the fuck do I need? Mobility and strength. What am I? Never. That's the answer. Precious scars, my precious trash. Not pre whatever. That's master work. I don't care. I ain't touching it. That's a 67, man. It's a lot of stats, but it's not good at anything. No, get out of here. Get out. Resilience and discipline with some ability. Not terrible, but not great. Just keep clicking. Just keep holding the button. Don't dwell on it. Because when are we... How long has this Pyric Ascent Alt... 20 of them been sitting in my vault. And I never used them. No. Re recovery... Just... No. That mo that's too much mobility. What? What is that thing? What? I, okay, I don't know why I kept that. That's see, it's too average across the board. That looks pretty good. Uh, see, that's just that's just too much uh, everything. That's that's a lot of this. Too much mobility. My 68 stat master worked stat increase loyally. I'm gonna keep it just as a reminder. That is too mediocre. I sound like my parents talking about me now. <laughs> I, now I understand growing up what they meant. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Some good resilience and strength. I feel like there's definitely a build for that. I'm missing the gauntlets. Ah, I need the gauntlets. I could totally, yeah, I can just make a cosmetic build of that. It, it is cool looking armor. So let's think about this. We, uh, grants ability energy when you're damaged, we're going to regain, the, regain maximum health and kills. So we want ability energy here. Uh, so like this is mobility. Uh, what the fudge? No. Doses. Okay, so we're going to keep that. And then I think I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on to these because this is more for strength. This will be more for just resilience overall. I don't see myself ever using that one. So. This one's masterwork. I guess I like this one. I don't know why. Oh, well, maybe because the other one's 21 mobility. Uh, no. Okay, we're on, to, we're on to gauntlets. And we got through 21 pieces. Wow, look at me. That's pretty good, honestly. I just see a lot in other things and nothing in mobility, so... No, we're cutting. Yeah, I don't like it. Resilience. I like that. Nah. Nah. I'm looking for great. Uh, why did I keep these? This must have been infusion. Okay, that was a long time ago. Again, I just dumped things into this. That is completely average, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm looking for... What is that? But look at the roll on that. If that rolled higher, that's kind of crazy, though. I'm just going to keep that. Like, it's... Not good, but if I ever need an only mobility strength build, when would that ever be? I, well, that's not what we're here to debate. You should barricade with personal ownership. When you actually barricade, you create a burst range. Ironically, you really want resilience because that's how we get our barricade back, us Titans. If there's two exotics and I'm not convinced on what I'm gonna dismantle, it's okay. The problem is when there's three or more. These are masterworks, so I'm gonna keep them, but they're very average. I don't know why I ever. Uh, that's, yeah, that's just, that's just a little too much of everything. Kind of, kind of the same problem here, especially with mobility being the best. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know why that's in here. No backup plans. How many we got? Three of them. Okay. Good resilience intellect, good recovery discipline. Ironically, we want strength here, which none of these have. That's incredible. Like these are probably the best bet. And then this one is a no go. Oh, I totally forgot. I got the, uh, the exotic for the season. Oh my God. Wait, we're already at 401. That was going to be so proud of me. Wait, we got to keep keep the momentum going. Okay. I guess I just don't have any good doom things, frankly. That's good recovery and discipline. Strength is good here. That's... Okay, yeah, that's just too... Got a lot of what I want. You're the one that I want. ACD feedback fence. Both garbage rolls. Uh, okay, I don't know how those got in there. You didn't see that. Um, that's pretty good. That's... Not bad. That's... Uh, come on. I mean, yeah, it's 64, but like, you're a master of none or a master of one. This is a quote I just came up with. 
Uh, no. Let me get this one out of here. Get him out of here. Dude, 30 strength. Oh, sheesh. With 15 mobility. Dude, my strength mobility. I'm about to, you know what? Hold on. Okay, I'm doing it. I just want to see. 100 mobility, 100 strength. Yeah, wow, we can't do much else. They're probably all going to use those gauntlets, right? Yeah. See? If the exotic are the legs, then we're obviously not going to use. We can get some pretty high recovery with that too. I bet they're going to use the legs. Yeah. But the, okay, okay. You know, I'm, I'm holding on to them. Screw it. It doesn't need to be practical. 30 and tight. Dude, what are my, what are with boots and dropping 30s? I can't, I don't think we saw any 30s on any other gear. It's only boots. I don't know what that's about. I'm always going to keep 30s. I don't know. They talk about monkey brain being happy. I got lots of Phoenix Cradles. That's, oof. Just no resilience into like your strength though. I'd like some of that in a build, so. Would I take, do you want mobility with it? But like the only time I equip this is like a jumping puzzle. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. I'm good mobility Doom Archers and strength. Wow. No rec uh, I think I have that stored just in case I need an iron mark. Oh my God. The goal is 410. We got the 360. Two ladies and gentlemen. That is some character development. Oh my God. I'm used to going through like eight pages of armor. Look at this. Schwoom, schwoom, schwoom. I don't even think that makes two, it makes about two pages. I hope you're proud, Dado. I did that for you. I've already started hoarding random stuff again. What's going on here? I don't know. Okay, but before we go, let me show you some of the builds we, uh, we, or I've, I built out. Boom, this is one I made on my own. Let me know what you think. It, it's gonna take a little second. It's gonna take, ah, uh, it's done. Look at that. Art of M must light, got a fit for it. Went high resilience, and because we want to, with Heart of Endless Light, Void 3.0, we want to cycle uh, abilities. So we start with like grenade into class barrier, and melee can be dog water because Void throws dog water anyway. And we just use that though at the end as a catalyst to then just keep regening our class shield and grenades. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom! Another fit too? Dado-san, this is your fun with stasis build? One problem. I um I don't have Whisper Rending. Because I remember looking up like in order of like what I should unlock first, and this was like at the bottom of the list. And I'm gonna be honest, un unlocking stasis fragments uh is is hell on earth. But otherwise, eh? We built it out. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know it's just like the new ornaments, but it looks cool, especially, I think they work really well with Lorley. Masterwork, the new Lorley helmet. Yeah, we got the 100%. Little more optimal. And last but not least, we got an Ursa build, which I'm pretty sure this is one he and I had made a while ago. I don't completely remember, but I'm pretty sure it is. That's like, what, five builds? Fully masterworked, ready to go. Just don't have an arc build, waiting for arc 3.0 to see what to make. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a Curus, and then I don't know what else, but 100% probably gonna be a Curus. Oh my god, the character development. <sighs> we'll look at that again. 358. And that's already been like shoveling some more stuff in here, working around that I can already delete. Like I could probably get this thing down to like close to 300 right now. That's huge. And best of all, now that I've done that, and for the most part, guys, I know what armor I want to keep an eye out for. But for the most part, new piece of armor, trash. My dude. And I think y'all want to see it i think i'll take some of these builds for a spin too to show you guys like uh once i specifically unlock that new stasis fragment could be fun before 3.0 hits let me know what you think anyway i uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video hope you learned something love you guys doses